Hi, Jaya. Hi. There was I'm some so glitch at your end. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. There was a small glitch on the line. So anyway, so let's continue. What were we talking about? About um, how our uh, kids need to be uh, educated on this, right? Yeah, it was like what whichever puberty class you whether you send them, but end of the day they are they are not going to get all the answers there in, then in the, uh, then in at that moment. The, every Correct. now and then there has to be some or the other question which they are going to come to their parents and they want Correct. an answer from the parents. So parents has to be very prepared, and even okay. it's okay if the parents does not know what the answer is, they can always come back to the question. they can say that maybe i don't know i'll just talk it out with an expert or see and then i'll get back to you and do get back to them correct like you said parents are the first teachers you know they will the kids will also feel comfortable talking more to the parents than with anybody be it a professor or a teacher in school you know they'd be more comfortable talking with parents right they feel secure when they talk to their parents is what i feel like in the workshop also whatever generalized talk might be there they might not be interested to hear it from the other person like when they, right. when at home you talk about something it is about real incidents like right. tv may add aagya sanitary sanitary napkins ka and someone is saying mama what is this and correct, if, correct. everybody is there standing uh, sitting there in a living hall it's like shh, shh. most of the parents do that either they change the change the channel, the channel. so it is better correct. to tell them it's something that is used by women and we can talk it out later so just correct. one simple sentence and there are parents who say it's a faltu baat nahi karte gandi baat nahi karte this there are parents who say say like these things also so the child correct. gets this perception perception that this is not okay okay that's and but that's if you address it like uh, it is something about women and maybe you mm -hmm. can talk it out later right okay so it is better you have a conversation at the privacy of you and your child so that even you are comfortable explaining the child because it gets uncomfortable for the parents to explain everything in front of the whole family member right That's because right. there may there are many people who might not be comfortable hearing all these things also correct correct so it is because That's the earlier they know these things the lesser the mm -hmm. bias there there will be because any right. which ways they know that this is how it is but if a child says like if a parent says ki right. ye sab baat kyu karte ho this is not mm -hmm. okay to ask in front of anyone so right. they already have a perception that this is something wrong exactly and right. you're not supposed right. to talk about it in public correct right. so they get that that's notion true. that's true okay i want your top 5 parenting tips top five parenting tips would be first one would be <laughs> try to listen to your kids because we parents are so in so much hurry that we are not into listening mode we are always into giving advices if a child many times what happens if a child says anything and they say it in a rhythm and when it and when the parents interrupt that rhythm goes off correct and you don't and when you listen you listen to listen not to respond or say something or offer something you can have if you like if you don't agree with what your child is saying you have to be very non judgmental and the facial expression i feel has to be neutral because Most that important. is very important because the children catch the expression so quick that yeah. even if you don't say it verbally they are going to face and read it and and they can know that when your parent is uncomfortable or didn't like what you said so this is one of the most important thing and right. giving a uh, second thing is giving uh, wrong information about thing like hota hai na like it, it starts from the very early age when a child uh, when the child says ki mama where do children come babies come from mm -hmm. so hospital se lekar aaye bhagwan ne de diya these are the vague answers we give and children are learning this from the very beginning so right. it is always better to give them age appropriate and uh, correct answers according to the right. age you don't need to explain everything just a right. crisp crisp short answer just that right. they are done with that so that's the and most important thing that you said yeah go ahead yeah 
and uh, the for the teenagers especially we need to understand the function of the brain where they come from right like the teenagers what happens the in uh, after the age of 24 or 25 their prefrontal cortex that is the adult brain starts working mm-hmm. until then mm-hmm. before that like from 15 to till the like it's always always into uh, like mature it's not mature till late 20s like maybe 24 so in the beginning what happens they are more adolescence phase and this teenage phase it's more like a feeling based like they right. don't think logically they are they think right. more on the feeling basis what right. makes them feel good right and that is okay. where the parents and child clashes a lot because parents are trying to inculcate things logically but mm-hmm. they are taking take it uh, take it in uh, more on a emotional thing so right. that is uh, i feel that if every parents understands that where they are coming from it will be easier for them to communicate because this is one of the hurdle which i get from most of the parents that my student my, like my teenage kids don't listen to me mm-hmm. yep and and that is why I, the the first thing i said was listening to them because only if you start listening to them they are going to start listening to you and right. this has to be developed from the very uh, like young age like right. what happens when a child is young school se jab bacche aate hain they are so curious mm-hmm. to say mama ji ye hua mama ji ye hua mama ji ye school mein ye hua and kids are, uh, and the parents are like theek hai theek hai no they are not interested in listening also <laughs> and what happens when they grow up and what happens it reverses correct the parents parents <laughs> keep asking at school mein kya hua yeah. tumne kuch bataya nahi aaj kuch to hua hoga because the day you stopped listening correct. and they start like they stopped like telling you things like they used to come get so excited and they used to to tell you each and everything that they mm-hmm. have done in their school whether it's five just like they are so innocent they explain even the mistakes also they tell you yeah. everything and that moment you are not ready to take it because you are busy with your work or whatever it is and later on it's like you are telling me that i don't do that <laughs> because i do i try and listen as much as possible but you know sometimes like just wait i need to just finish texting or you know it's it's like you are telling me hitting me on my we head we all so, have yeah. gone through like, yeah. like we all have gone through this we have to just level up us ourselves yeah. every time True. like it's not that i am 100% okay many times it happens till date it happens with me correct correct but, I, but like my kids are like 14 and 16 so now you can say like baby i am not in the mood to listen i will mm-hmm. listen so like right. you have to teach them that also when i am not ready and you have to accept my friend that is saying that she's also guilty of it <laughs> she's put up saying she's also guilty <laughs> okay um and also what do you think that dads what what should they know about their daughter's first period like you know what uh, kind what do you think the dad should tell their daughters when they get their periods and you know uh, say you know all this is normal what what do you think they should say that they should expect rather this is what will happen in the next 2 3 days or like what do you beforehand think? you need to explain it to the child and first mm. first and foremost the father the, himself needs to know everything because okay. the father in general they think that the mother is there to tell you everything but still mm-hmm. the fa- most of the fathers they don't know what actually goes around like okay. there are mood swings they might feel uh, lazy they do might then they might not feel like doing anything and these are the physical change like uh, emotional changes and there are physical mm-hmm. changes also there will be like uh, breast development before getting periods mm-hmm. and pubic yeah. hair mm-hmm. and okay. these things are there so even the father has to be comfortable with the words as i said earlier mm-hmm. comfortable with the words because later on when are you when you are going to explain things these words are going to come you are right. going to talk about uh, like uh, what are the pre period products and uh, like like it's tampons it's sanitary napkins it's pe- uh, period panties nowadays mm-hmm. and it's uh, several other things which are in the market latest and you can uh explain about uh, this also like how their body works during this period it's so easy to tell them that uh, it's like for us also it's the easier we are saying it it's 
it's a beautiful thing or something but physically it's very pathetic every yeah. woman yeah. goes through it and it's a very uh, like tiring and n- not feeling good about it not feeling good yeah. about it the experience not in the sense of that it's dirty or it's gross because if if uh, if a man tells that it is dirty and gross uh they take it in a very negative form because later yeah. on it's going to affect their relationship also correct in the later correct. life because if men and boys they understand mm-hmm. that peerage is not a dirty thing mm-hmm. it's not something shameful then a world will be a very different place because i have been into a coed school and boys used to giggle a lot when whenever there used to be a uh, like peerage stain on the skirt or something they literally used to giggle and make us feel really embarrassed and later okay. quite later i understood that there's nothing so shameful about they feel even, even the boys feel that it's harmless it's just to giggle and out but actually it hampers the body image of a girls a lot a lot so we, you were talking about the physical yeah go ahead sorry no no it's a uh so you were talking about the physical changes that the girl goes through during the first time she gets her period what do you think she would be going through mentally when she gets before getting her period like you know just when she's about to get it what do you think she'd be going through mentally will they even know that they're getting it or you know will it, will they have mood swings what 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 is it that is nee mood swings are there they might not uh, want to uh, like they might feel a bit fatigued also they okay. they will have might have uh, unusual cravings to have something or they okay. they could feel like a vomiting well like every symptom is not uh, rare, like compulsory to everyone it could be very different they could be have abdominal bloating also okay. they might feel because of the nervousness also there there's something which is which they might not be able to even uh, explain it to you in words yeah, yeah they might yeah. feel Correct. uneasy nervous uncomfortable and they might not be able to explain what this uncomfortableness is okay that's that's actually we can actually say this you know as a you know a post itself where you know we say these are the things that you can expect right before you're going to get your first periods you know like yes. what you just said i didn't know anything <laughs> i was blank <laughs> <laughs> i didn't people around me were rustling and bustling but i didn't know what was happening around me so you know i didn't know what was happening to my body i was scared so i think all these yeah, things like what you rightly said it should be told to the person going through that right and it should be and like and the parents should be available like they sh- they should be there and they should be there to calm and soothe because koi bhi cheez hum bata rahe hain it's not to scare you sure as is. if sure. they are, they are already scared because something sure. unusual is going to happen they haven't experienced it before and mm. you just have to be emotionally present there what i feel okay. as a parent you need to be very supportive because they might be uh, stains on the bed sheets so they might feel very gross or even i'm not able to handle it properly and yeah, there are yeah. several the ambience of the house also does matter because there are many houses they who, who segregate them correct there are pieces correct. who segregate them and they are not allowed so they feel feel like so they, um, one of one of the girl came to me and she said i i literally i felt like i was untouchable at that moment mm-hmm. yeah because yeah. They, they were having uh in separate uh, utensils they were having food in separate uh, yeah. utensils and yeah. everything they were not so allowed to come so my mother used to tell me that place. so uh my mother came uh, she's from this uh, town called bellur um apparently there during her time they would there there is like an outhouse okay so the girls who have their periods Period. should stay in their in that outhouse they wash their own clothes there eat there only when they are uh, during the fourth or the fifth day are they allowed to come into the house so my mother would tell me that she would tell me how great i am because she is not doing that to me now i'm telling her this nothing why do you even think it's a big thing to allow me inside the house it's not a big thing she like you know those days they never even used to let me inside the house look at you you are roaming in the house you look at you doing this doing that no, that much credit you need to give it to your mother that you were in a <laughs> yeah. better place at least <laughs> yeah so i'm i'm actually grateful that at least my mother had that much of you know sense to like you know say it doesn't need to be like that so yeah. grateful for that 
also so my last question is um, why is it important for men to be a part of media discussion how do you think it helps the society how do you think it helps the future generation it helps a lot because when men come to know about these things how the body of a woman works later mm-hmm. on it's going to add on to safe sex in contraception in unwanted pregnancies because they'll get to know about what is uh, like uh, the period phases of the periods and the girls are and they they also need to teach girls this is what i had missed that they need to maintain a calendar correct it is very necessary for the girls who are uh, like beginning with this uh, period thing they got the first period they may need to maintain their their uh, like a calendar like how many heavy days or uh like lighter days they are having so that they are no able to recognize the cycle like how many days cycle like it could be between 21 to 35 days cycle mm-hmm. it varies okay. from person to person so so okay. 21 okay. days is also normal and 35 okay. days is also normal okay oh i didn't know that okay so, okay so that is why they are, uh, people take it 28 days as an average day so okay. 21 days okay. is also normal and 35 days is also normal Okay. 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 So every body is different, so they behave differently. Okay. And by tracking this uh, calendar making habit, they will be able to, like, if they have to travel somewhere or need to go somewhere for shopping and all, they are mentally prepared that when they are going to get their periods. And if they are aware of this beforehand, it, it, it is a beneficial. Like it's it's a more of a comforting thing. for them okay. because they are mentally prepared they can carry their pads they can take carry an extra panty correct it's helpful wait while they that's it's actually nice but and also one more thing i feel is so when especially men are told about periods or you know sex or you know a female body part um all the aspects i feel like you know we can reduce the kind of uh, sexual abuse uh going on because they already know what a female body looks like see the amount of rapes that happen today is because they want to explore the female body they want they want to know what it is okay but you know once they know this is what a woman goes through this is the kind of pain that she goes through um i feel like you know they it, all this will automatically reduce they will there'll be a lot more respect more than yes. you know wanting to you know explore Yes. What happens if a man and boys both come to know about what period pain is, or what a woman goes through, and they can help help them out? Also, like if you know uh, what can ease out, like the hot, if you give a hot water bag, like these are very little handy things, but it's very helpful and it develops a sense of empathy. Correct. Like, there exactly. are many women who complain that uh, my husband doesn't understand me. Correct. but the mothers they themselves have not inculcated these thing it's not only about mothers i feel but obviously the new generation mother can take step and move ahead with that and later all the okay. husbands can follow correct because they like it's so, such a conditioning that they are very uncomfortable with uh, periods and even speaking about it and talking about correct. it it's so unkeen can but at least if they can't do it they can like silently be there and get informed about these things right they right, might not, right. because later on when when the mother and the kids are into that circle later on they are going to up it's a process it's not that today i am talking about this 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 and you should be supposed to like talk about well like speak valva well, or pns and it's a process mm-hmm. it takes time because right. there has to be a mindset shift and until unless right. that perception and mindset shift is not there they won't be able to put it practically so if they right. hear if 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 uh, children keep talking about the mother keeps talking about uh, like periods and panty and stains so hearing same thing again and again normal. it normalizes it yeah right and they are okay right. with it right they get okay with it and one more thing so which i would that... like to highlight is many times what men or even in general women also think is that period blood is dirty period blood is like dirty or it's gross or it's stinky and it's foul smelling actually it's not the period blood that is dirty or a foul smelling it mm-hmm. is when the period blood is sucked up on the pads pads there right. are chemicals on the pad right. that suck up the blood correct and it is because of the reaction when it comes in contact with the environment that is mm-hmm. the reason why 
the pads feel you feel like it's dirty it's stinky Maybe. and has is a foul yeah. smell yes it's correct. not correct. the blood so the blood is not dirty okay and there's no uh, like thing. foul smell from the blood it is because of the pad you are using because so if you actually use I need a to pad say something and, uh, and if you use a menstrual cup you can see hmm. the difference between the body odor yes yes so a lot of companies now what they're doing is they uh, they're putting scents uh in the napkin so that you don't smell that period and uh, that is that is again a chemical that, yeah which is more harmful to a woman i don't because understand they, yeah because it may lead to infertility infertility issues and exactly. many other complications like pcod exactly. and all everything correct it all correct. adds up to the problem correct very true very it true. is just to subside the smell right just to subside that smell but does any which way the smell is not going to go <laughs> yeah <laughs> so um, so let's i'm um, summit to uh, i just want to also talk about one more thing uh, when you had mentioned that you know it starts from the ladies in the house i also want to say it also starts in schools where you know when we are in school do in in a uh, biology class you know whether teacher itself you mentioned remember when you said it shows in the face yeah. why do you want to laugh and why do you want to make the ch- child you know who's sitting there listening to you think it's something that should not be spoken about you know just speak with confidence My is teacher. what i would say to all mothers parents ch- uh, you know teachers you know just do speak with a lot of confidence so that the child or whoever is listening knows it is of an important you know topic that the elder is talking about yeah you have to be confident so that the other person who hears it exactly. also feel, feels confident about it that you Correct. are like talking about it with confidence because you have full knowledge about it you are not confused Correct. about it because Correct. even if you're saying something and your body language is not in align with what you are saying they're not going to take it any which way right right very true thank you so much jaya it was lovely talking to you thank you for you having gave us me. amazing insights on uh, parenting and you know tween periods and uh, about uh, sex and a lot of other things uh, hopefully we can uh, you know we have made a lot of uh, difference in people who are listening so uh, thank you hopefully. so much for joining us thank you for having me and thank you I all the you- followers for joining here Yes thank you all and I wish you all the best uh, Jay I hope you change the world in the way we all think we need Together more we uh, people like you more yeah more people yeah. Like, seriously we know we need more people like us <laughs> <laughs> all the best Jay take care thank nice you stop talking to you bye Jay I'm here bye bye